everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back. Today I have another book haul for you guys, so stay tuned. Alright everyone, so in this video I did actually do two bookstores but I only filmed from one of them. Um, only one of them allowed that. So I will let you know which ones of these came from where, but I bought this with some money that I had um, from my birthday, ironically last year. <laughs> um, as of filming, today is August 10th, um, but I was sick last year around my birthday and I was going through some papers and stuff and went to throw the birthday card out from last year and Turned out there was money in it. I had a hundred dollar bill in it. I was like, well, I almost threw away a hundred dollar bill. Oh my God. <laughs> so anyhow, you guys, I didn't spend my whole hundred, but I was like, yes, book haul with this money for sure. I know what I'm doing because my birthday is September 9th. And again, it's August 10th. So it's not my birthday for this year yet. I will be 30 this year. Wow. <laughs> But anyhow, guys, so this is from my birthday money from last year. So here we go. I'm going to show you the clips of me shopping, bring you with me, and then I'm going to bring you back and show you what all I picked out. So stay tuned, guys. I hope you enjoy this.
enjoyed the bookstore. Um, I love that that bookstore has kitties. Um, they actually have a couple, but I, I think I only got video of one. Honestly, at this point, it's been a couple weeks since I filmed that and I'll see it when I edit it together. So I don't remember, <laughs> but they do have two kitties in there and it's just it's amazing there's so many books and it supports my local used bookstores um and it's just it's it's a nice experience but all right guys so let's go ahead and get into this book haul and hopefully this video won't be too terribly long we'll see <laughs> all right so as you can see i have three stacks i'm not sure where i want to start um i guess i'll actually start here at the very end they gave me a bookmark at the first store, which is the one that I could have video in. So that is that if you want to see that. Um, so that's there if you guys would ever like to visit there. All right. So here we go, guys. I guess I'm gonna start down in this stack. <laughs> Where to choose? Where to choose? So the first one in this stack is the all new Hardy Boys Undercover Brothers Boardwalk Bust. And this is number three in this series. So there is that one. Um, I do have a lot of Hardy Boy and Nancy Drew books. So that's what some of these are here. I was trying to fill in ones I'm missing. So this one is number five, The Rocky Road to fit that all in frame for you guys. My arms are short <laughs> and my camera is so far back on my little tripod. Okay, then we have number six, which is Burn. So I don't know, I'm debating doing um, reading vlogs. I haven't done that and you know, I never really show you guys me in the video. It's not intentional, I guess, but I don't know, maybe I'll do that, we'll see. I'm a very slow reader. <laughs> Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. But here we go, I got number eight, and this is the last one in this little set of the Undercover Brothers. This is the top 10 ways to die. So I didn't actually have any of these, but since I had the money and saw them there, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get those too. Um, so next in this stack was one of the Nancy Drews that I'm missing. Now these are the kind, of Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys that I collect with like the yellow and blue spines. Um, so this one is number six, The Secret of Red, Red Gate Farm. And I was missing this one. So all of these came so far from the um, bookstore in the first, um, in the video that let me film. If I didn't say that, I might have already had guys, but. <laughs> so this is number 38, Mystery at Devil's Paw. Um, so again, these are the kind that I've been collecting. I read these as a kid and I'm trying to get all of them. Um, so this was another one that I was missing that I went ahead and picked up. Then while I was in that section, she also had Nancy Drew ghost stories. Um, so this is six bone chilling tales of mystery and terror. So I went ahead and scooped this up too. I would tell you the pricing individual on these, but honestly, I don't remember guys. Um, but my grand total, I had a coupon. Once you buy so much, they have a rewards point system. Once you buy so many books, each $5 you get a stamp and then you get $15 off your next purchase. So I had a coupon um, for that. And my total was like 85 something, I think. And then with that coupon, it dropped down to like 65, which was amazing. So again, I didn't spend all of that hundred in there or nothing, but <laughs> all right. So this came from the other bookstore that I couldn't film at, but this one, you can see the price on. Um, I only spent like $10 in that store, I think. Um, so this is six bone chilling tales of mystery and terror for the Hardy Boys ghost stories. So I went ahead and got that one. And the other bookstore is called um, Page Master Bookstore. So if you guys were interested in that one. All right. So next we have a Lizzie McGuire book, which was only 45 cents. I couldn't leave it at 45 cents all over it. I had all of these when I was a kid. I read them. I was like obsessed with Lizzie. I really wish the reboot wouldn't have been canceled. 
but what can you do? Disney Plus decided not to do that. So that one also came from Page Master. Um, so this is the last one in that stack, and this one also came from Page Master. It was $5.95. This was the most expensive thing that I bought in that store. Um, and it's called Four, which is the Divergent series book. Um, I didn't have this one, but I have the main series. So I went ahead and I picked this up. Um, show you the spine. And there's the uh, picture on the front. I don't think there's anything on the back now. Okay. So, I mean, $5.95, that's not a bad price, even with it being used and stuff. And it helps support the local bookstores. Um, so anyways, guys. Now I'm on to the second stack, and these came from that first bookstore with the kitties that that's in the video. So this is the Nancy Drew Files Case 32 High Marks for Malice. Um, I do have some of these Nancy Drew books, only a couple on my shelf. I'm not sure how many's in this collection, um, but I did go ahead and get this since I have some of them. So I wanted to try to add those to my collection. So here's another one. It's the Nancy Drew Files case number nine, False Moves. Try to get that in frame for you guys. All right. There's that. Then we have the Nancy Drew Files case 27, Most Likely to Die. Oops, sorry guys. I was reading the book and not looking at the screen. <laughs> Way out of frame. Sorry about that. Again, my, my tripod's literally as tall as my phone. It's right here. So you can see how close I am to the floor. And that's as big as it gets. So it's, it's kind of hard to like get it in frame, look at the screen. But all right, guys. So next in the stack, there was a hair. <laughs> um, starts V.C. Andrews books. I am trying to collect all of these as well. And I didn't have this one. So this is V.C. Andrews Shadow of Foxworth. And the bindings on these, you can tell they're used, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't bother me. So there's that. The next we have VC Andrews Scattered Leaves. And this says it's the second in the all new early spring series. I'm not sure if I have any of the other books for it or not. Um, if you guys are interested, I probably won't remember to link it, but if you go to my playlist about books, um, I do have a bookshelf tour, so you can check that out. Um, it's from May of 2022, so it won't have everything that you've seen in my book hauls, but... Alright, so this is V.C. Andrews' Black Cat, which says it's the second in the Thrilling Gemini series. Again, I'm not sure which ones I have or don't have. <laughs> I just know I was on my Goodreads, and I was like, okay, I don't have this one, gonna buy it. Don't have this one, gonna buy it. And literally, this bookstore is so huge, guys, I had to climb a ladder to get to the top to go through these amazing like I'm Belle <laughs> and it was my ball because I was having a great time <laughs> so this is VC Andrews Rain which I think was the only one I was missing from this series actually I do think I have the others um there's that I have like a whole shelf that's VC Andrews guys um then we have VC Andrews Celeste and this says it's the first one in the Gemini series, so obviously I didn't have that. <laughs> I guess I should have put these in a better order so they were together, huh? <laughs> All right. And guys, I don't give the descriptions of books in my hauls, so if you're interested, like, you can look it up on Goodreads. Um, also, speaking of, my Goodreads will be linked in the description below. I'll also put my code for um, Book Outlet on there if you guys want a discount if you've never shopped on there before. And you can check out my videos of Book Outlet hauls as well if you're interested. Um, but this is V.C. Andrews, The Unwelcome Child. So you can see this one's got a lot of wear on the bind, but, or on the spine. <laughs> but that's okay. So there's that. A um, couple more in the stack. So we have V.C. Andrews, Raven. So she does have some smaller series, and this is number four. And then we have... V.C. Andrews Shooting Star series, and this one is Ice, which is the second one in the series. So, there's that one. Hopefully I'm getting good in the frame for you guys. <laughs> Alright, so the last one in the stack. Again, I should have stacked these better, but here's a Nancy Drew book again. This one's Nancy Drew in Case File 22. Um, and you can tell by the sticker, this one came from Page Master, so it did not come from Royal Oak. But Fatal Attraction... 
So here is that one. So now I have a few more of these in my sets. All right, everyone, so on to the last stack. I have seen these in um, Books A Million before and I they were expensive, I couldn't afford them. And she had these for $6, which she has the price on these um, from uh, Royal Oak Bookshop. So this one is called, that was my dryer guys, I'm sure you heard that. <laughs> sorry, Gothic Fantasy and it's Urban Crime Short Stories. I absolutely love how these books look. Like they are gorgeous, gorgeous to me. So like here's the inside of it. I mean, these are just beautiful. And I always liked them when I saw them at Books A Million, but they were expensive. So here is this one, and then we have the other one that she had, which is Gothic Fantasies, Dystopia, Utopia, Short Stories. And again, it was $6. Um, some of her books she puts prices on, others she doesn't. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure why, but there's that. And let's see, this one looks the same on the inside there. Got a little picture back there. So I really love the looks of these. They, they're beautiful guys. And I know there's more of them. I would love to get the rest of them eventually. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but all right, next in the stack is a Kelly Armstrong book. It's called Frostbitten. I'm not sure which number this is in the series or anything, but I do have quite a few Kelly Armstrong books. Actually, you can see some of them right there. So I have... Bitten, The Call In, The Rising, the Summoning, The Awakening, and The Reckoning by her, all right there. Plus beside of it, A Stranger in Town, which actually I guess that one's out of frame. But there's my section of Kelly Armstrong right there anyhow. <laughs> um, so this one actually, I guess, says not for resale, but she had it in her store. <laughs> all right, so that is what this one looks like on the spine. Okay, so there's that one. And then the last two in the stack, guys. I love PC Cass. I have a whole shelf pretty much that's all her. There's only a couple books that aren't. Um, and it's the um, Mark Trade, uh, Betrayed, Chosen, like that whole series. And then the spinoff series and the novellas and um, some other books by her, like Moon Chosen, which that's a series there with three books. Um, so these, I think, are books four and five. I could be wrong. So I don't have the rest of these, but I went ahead and picked these up too. So here is what this one looks like. And this is a teen book. She does teen and adult. So this one comes before the next one in the stack, which is also the last one in the stack, guys. So here is this one. And again, I can't remember what numbers these are. It's either three and four and four and five, something like that, I think. So I'll have to work on getting the rest of these, but yeah, see, so some of them she puts the price in the cover as well. Um, $4.50, not bad. I haven't seen these anywhere else, so I went ahead and scooped them up too. All right, guys, so let me get these books back into frame, and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, so there you have it. I'd say short and sweet like I normally do, but this one was definitely longer. <laughs> I do hope you all enjoyed actually getting to see around the bookstore with me and see at least in the one where I was shopping at. Um, so it's it's local to me, but it's not actually like local. It's like a 45 minute drive, um, half hour, 45 minutes. So it's not terrible. Um, but again, the first one's Royal Oak Bookshop. And I'm, they do have a Facebook page. They might have a website. I'm not sure. Second one's Page Master Books. Um, and I mean, they're okay. A lot of the times they're not open when they say they are, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it's okay. So thank you all so much for watching. If you're interested in around the area and you want to visit those bookstores and support your local bookstores where you are, that's great. It's great to support the local bookstores, um, keep them going. It's amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed, which I think I already said. <laughs> and let me know in the comment section below 
would you want to read any of these books? Did you see anything in the shopping video that you would have liked to have? Um, you know, let me know all your thoughts about everything down below in the comments. And thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this if you have, because <laughs> I know this is longer than what I normally put up. So I really do appreciate that. Please, if you can, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I've got 46 subscribers as of filming this, which I am so grateful. Thank all of you for that so much. Um, and, you know, share the videos around if you like. I have so many playlists and other videos on my channel, whether it be books, uh, book shopping hauls, trading card pack openings, um, mystery DVDs from Disney Movie Insider, Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. There, there's so many things on my channel. So please, guys, it would be absolutely amazing if you could stick around and check some of that stuff out. There's over 300 videos. And let me know if you guys would ever be interested in seeing me like shop around my bookstores again. If I do, um, if you would be interested in seeing those. I watch a lot of reading channels um, and I like watching them where they go shopping and do book hauls. I love watching book haul videos. So if you're like me, you probably do like that. So just let me know. And then next time I ever go, I'll do it again. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.